In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to generate date time dimensions in Datasphere. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create timetables and dimensions, configure time ranges, understand the tables and views created. A date dimension will have members for every date required in a dataset. As dates are universal, these can be generated automatically in a space. In Datasphere, select Space Management. Find your space and click Edit. Select the Time Data tab. Click Create Timetables and Dimensions. By default, this will create date members for every day from 1900 to 2050. To save space, we will reduce this from 2020 to 2030. Four views will be created from this table, holding attributes for year, quarter, month and day. In addition, translation tables are created to offer regional names for days, months and quarters. Click Create. The space will automatically deploy the tables and views. Select Data Builder. Select the timetable. Turn on Data Viewer. Every date from January the 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2030 are listed as members. Also, there are attributes showing the year, quarter, month and week. Go back to Data Builder. Select Translation Table Day. Turn on the Data Viewer. Each day of the week has translations into multiple languages. Go back to Data Builder. Select Time Dimension Day. The view is generated using an SQL query from the timetable. Turn on Data Viewer to see the results of the query. In the Model Properties, scroll down to Associations. Click on the Edit Association against Day of Week. Here you can see that the day of the week in this view is associated with the Translation Table Day table. As such, each day can be displayed with the correct name based on the language settings of the end user. Click on the Time Dimension Day link to go back to the main properties. Note the translations for month and quarter are also associated with this view. Select the Hierarchy button at the top of the properties. Note that there are three level-based hierarchies to group the dates by year, quarter, month and week. Click Close. Go back to Data Builder. In this tutorial, you learned how to create timetables and dimensions, configure time ranges, and then understand the tables and views created. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the like button below. You can also view our growing catalogue of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and join the community forum by creating your free account at analysisprime.com.